Panning in the volatile Ikipia Conservancy area in the wake of an ongoing operation to flash out bandits in the area, as Musa Salah reports, construction of homes touched by bandits has begun in earnest with the government assuring residents of their security. Kama slowly returned in Laikipia County. This contingent of armed soldiers drawn from the Kenya army is all Moran residents' last hope. For close to two weeks now, these residents have been living in fear as more and more people flee their homes following the recent Bandutia attacks. In these long queues, victims whose houses were torched lined up to receive not just relief food, but also construction materials with the rebuilding of homes raised down by bandits kicking off in earnest. But the most affected in the old Moran conflict are these young boys and girls. Their homes were set ablaze and rendered homeless. The bandits here have been regular visitors to schools such as Old Moran Primary School, forcing teachers and their pupils to abandon their classes and stay at home indefinitely until the situation comes. And as their parents prepare to rebuild their future, the government has pledged to find a sustainable solution to the incessant Old Moran bandit attacks. Now where you are standing now, what the ground that we are breaking with the CS is for the station house or the police division house. It's true, as I said yesterday, we're going to be here for a while. It's not going to be one of those areas where we just come in, stabilize the place and walk away. We realize that uh, this part of Laikipia needs to be policed uh, in a much more sustainable manner than we have done in the past. The government plans to set up a special police training unit in the area and more and more police land cruisers and heavily armed men and women will continue to patrol all Moran and its neighboring villages. According to Interior CS Dr. Fred Matiangi, all schools that were shut down due to the ongoing conflict are expected to reopen on Monday next week. The CS reassuring teachers and students of their safety. I know that sometimes in a crisis it's easy to become skeptical about what is going on and the government efforts. But nobody should doubt our resolve to get this uh, resolved and resolved quickly. I have just assured the KNUT officials when we spoke this morning from Laikipia that we will protect the teachers and the teachers who are working here can be assured that we will patrol the areas around the schools. And when the school time ends in the afternoon at 4.30, uh, our teams jointly with the KPR will walk uh, you know, along the ways. In any case, none of these kids come from you know, very far away. Many of them operate on a radius of about three to five kilometers, and we'll be able to patrol the whole place throughout the time and uh, you know, ensure that there's safety. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon, and in an ordinary day, the pupils of Old Moran Primary School would be preparing to go home. But the playful laughter of kids in class is no longer there, and this school remains deserted. But Interior CS Fred Matiangi says that will change come Monday next week. Musa Salah, TV 47, Old Moran Primary School, Lake.